In the realm of tennis drama, a tale unfolds. Boris Becker, a name synonymous with Wimbledon glory, finds himself ensnared in a web of legal intricacies that cast a shadow over his illustrious coaching return with ATP star Holger Rune. Join us as we unravel the layers of this forbidden saga, exploring the twists, turns, and untold dimensions of Becker's ban from the prestigious Wimbledon courts. The story begins with a seismic revelation that shocked the tennis world. Boris Becker, a six-time Grand Slam champion, is barred from setting foot on the revered lawns of the All England Club. A man who once triumphed on these very courts now faces a prohibition, leaving fans and pundits alike in suspense about the reasons behind this unprecedented ban. The source of Becker's woes lies in a legal labyrinth that extends beyond the tennis court. In April 2022, the tennis icon was sentenced to two and a half years in prison for concealing 2.5 million in assets weaving a tangled web to escape debts and declaring bankruptcy. The echoes of financial mismanagement reverberated through the judicial corridors, leading to Becker's incarceration. Eight months into his sentence, Becker found himself released from prison, granted an early reprieve in December of the same year. However, freedom came at a cost, deportation to Germany, and a legal prohibition preventing his return to the United Kingdom effectively thwarting any aspirations of gracing Wimbledon with his presence. Undeterred by legal constraints, Becker resurfaced in the tennis realm, this time as the coach of Holger Rune, the promising 20-year-old ATP star. In an exclusive revelation on Eurosport Germany's podcast, Becker disclosed his newfound role, expressing pride in Rune's invitation. The tennis maestro turn coach detailed the long-standing connection with Rune and the seamless fit in their coaching partnership. In the vibrant tapestry of tennis narratives, Boris Becker's coaching renaissance with Holger Rune paints a compelling picture of mentorship and athletic evolution. As the seasoned coach steps into a new role, imparting his wisdom to the promising ATP star, there's an undeniable energy surrounding the prospect of this dynamic partnership. The echoes of Becker's past coaching triumphs with Novak Djokovic amplify the anticipation, creating a buzz within the tennis community. Rune, currently ranked world number six, offered insights into the value Becker brings to the coaching dynamic. In an interview with TV2 Sport, Rune reflected on a week of intensive training with Becker, emphasizing the coach's ability to empathize with the psychological nuances of the game. The Dane acknowledged Becker's support throughout his career, noting the difference in having a coach who has navigated similar high-stakes situations. However, amidst this coaching renaissance, Becker's absence from Wimbledon casts a poignant shadow. The coach, who guided Novak Djokovic to six Grand Slam titles, finds himself on the periphery, unable to step onto the courts where his legacy was etched in tennis history. The juxtaposition of coaching aspirations and a ban from Wimbledon adds a layer of complexity to Becker's narrative. As Rune's coaching team expands to include Becker, the tennis prodigy sets his sights on Grand Slam triumphs. Rune's mother, Aniki, envisions a future where her son secures a maiden Grand Slam title. In a candid interview, she delves into Rune's meticulous goal setting, outlining the arduous path from futures to the pinnacle of Grand Slam success. The journey takes a challenging turn as Rune faces a string of defeats post Wimbledon, grappling with a back injury that threatens to derail his momentum. Aneka, undeterred by immediate results, underscores the importance of focusing on Rune's adherence to the right strategies rather than fixating on victories or losses. The ATP Tennis Radio podcast stands as a digital arena where the nuances of tennis journeys are dissected and celebrated. It serves as a virtual stage for players, coaches, and enthusiasts alike to delve into the intricacies of the sport. In one such illuminating episode, Aneka Rune, mother and keen observer of tennis phenomenon Holger Rune, shares profound insights into her son's pursuit of a major breakthrough. In the rich tapestry of tennis narratives, the ATP Tennis Radio podcast becomes key, weaving tales of ambition, dedication, and the relentless pursuit of excellence. 
Aneki Rune's presence on this platform adds a familial touch to the storytelling, offering a behind-the-scenes glimpse into the aspirations and challenges that accompany Holger's journey from promising talent to Grand Slam contender. As the podcast unfolds, Aneki paints a vivid picture of Rune's approach, a step-by-step -step progression akin to a strategic chess game. The analogy becomes particularly apt as she traces his trajectory from the grassroots of Futures tournaments, where victories in the $15,000 and $25,000 events laid the foundation for more significant conquests. Each move, each triumph, is a carefully calculated step towards the ultimate goal. Winning a Grand Slam title. Boris Becker, a name synonymous with tennis excellence, subtly enters the narrative. Aneki reflects on the mentorship that Holger Rune has gained from Becker, drawing parallels between the chessboard and the tennis court. The strategic maneuvers, the anticipation of the opponent's moves, and the ability to seize opportunities mirror the elements that make both chess and tennis cerebral pursuits. Becker's legacy as a coach, sculpting champions on the global stage, adds an intriguing layer to the discussion. In the world of Grand Slam aspirations, the podcast becomes a compass, guiding listeners through the labyrinth of a major tournament. Aneki Rune articulates the meticulous preparation required to navigate the grueling five-set format, emphasizing the physical and mental demands imposed by the extended battles on the court. It's a symphony of endurance, skill, and psychological fortitude. And Rune, under the guidance of Becker, is positioning himself as a player ready to compose his opus on this grand stage. The podcast's unique charm lies in its ability to transcend the binary of wins and losses, delving into the essence of the player's journey. Aneki Rune becomes a storyteller, recounting not just scores, but the emotional ebbs and flows, the strategic adaptations, and the growth that accompanies each match. Through her words, listeners gain a deeper appreciation for the sport's intricacies, understanding that victories extend beyond the final scorecard. As Holger Rune readies himself for the challenges of Grand Slam tennis, the podcast becomes a compass, navigating through the uncertainties and certainties of his journey. The influence of Boris Becker, the strategic mind behind champions, hovers in the background, an unspoken presence that infuses the narrative with an air of anticipation. The podcast, in essence, becomes a collaborative venture, with Anaki Rooney and Becker contributing their unique perspectives to the collective symphony of tennis storytelling. In conclusion, the ATP Tennis Radio podcast, with Aneke Rune as its storyteller, illuminates the path of Holger Rune's pursuit of a major breakthrough. As the narrative unfolds, Boris Becker's influence subtly intertwines with the overarching chess game of tennis, adding a layer of strategic brilliance to the storytelling. Through the podcast's lens, tennis enthusiasts embark on a journey beyond statistics, witnessing the evolution of a player and the intricate dance between mentorship, strategy, and the relentless pursuit of Grand Slam glory. The forbidden return of Boris Becker to Wimbledon raises myriad questions within the tennis community. Will legal constraints be overcome, allowing the tennis icon back onto the courts that witnessed his glory? Can Holger Rune, under Becker's tutelage, achieve the Grand Slam dreams they collectively harbor? As this captivating saga continues to unfold, tennis enthusiasts find themselves immersed in a narrative that transcends the boundaries of sport. The forbidden return becomes a metaphor for the intricate dance between personal challenges, coaching dynamics, and the unyielding pursuit of excellence on the hallowed grounds of Wimbledon. The tennis world watches with bated breath, eager for the next chapter in this compelling and forbidden tale. Becker's coaching legacy is undeniably storied, marked by the transformative years spent shaping Djokovic into a Grand Slam champion. The strategic insights, mental resilience, and the wealth of experience Becker brings to the table are invaluable assets for any aspiring player. The resonance of his coaching philosophy, honed through years at the pinnacle of the sport, adds a layer of depth 
to the training sessions with Room. It's a collaboration rooted in mutual respect, where the mentorship extends beyond the technicalities of the game, delving into the nuances of navigating the high-pressure scenarios that define elite tennis. However, amidst this coaching renaissance, Becker's absence from Wimbledon casts a poignant shadow. The All England Club, where Becker etched his name in tennis history with three Wimbledon titles, now stands as a venue he cannot tread upon. The very courts that witnessed his triumphs and showcased his prowess as a player have become off-limits, introducing a paradoxical element to Becker's return to the tennis spotlight. For a coach of Becker's caliber, Wimbledon holds a special place. It's not just a prestigious tournament, it's a part of his narrative, an arena where his coaching journey and personal legacy converge. The ban from Wimbledon, a consequence of legal entanglements, raises questions about the intersection of personal conduct and professional pursuits in the world of tennis. It's a stark reminder that even legends are bound by rules and regulations, subject to the consequences of their actions. The absence of Becker at Wimbledon also leaves a void in the tournament's narrative. His larger-than-life presence, both as a player and coach, has been synonymous with the grandeur of Wimbledon. The charisma, the tactical acumen, and the sheer magnetism he brought to the courts are elements that add a layer of richness to the tournament atmosphere. When Becker is absent, there's a certain nostalgia that permeates the air, a longing for the days when his volleys echoed through the hallowed grounds. In assessing the impact of Becker's ban on Wimbledon, one must consider not only the personal ramifications for the coach, but also the tournament's identity. Wimbledon, steeped in tradition and history, is a stage where narratives intertwine, creating moments that transcend the sport. Becker, with his unparalleled connection to the tournament, becomes a character whose presence is deeply interwoven with the Wimbledon saga. As Rooney gears up for his Wimbledon journey under Becker's guidance, the absence of the coach from the physical landscape of the tournament introduces a unique dynamic. The mentor, despite being barred from the venue, remains a guiding force through the challenges and triumphs that Wimbledon's grass courts will inevitably present. It's a testament to the enduring nature of mentorship, where influence transcends physical proximity. In conclusion, Boris Becker's coaching return with Holger Rune is a story of rejuvenation, mentorship, and the timeless allure of tennis. Yet, the ban from Wimbledon adds a layer of complexity, highlighting the intricate interplay between personal history and professional pursuits. As the coaching narrative unfolds, the void left by Becker's absence at Wimbledon becomes a nuanced chapter in the broader tale of tennis, where legends navigate the boundaries of legacy and the constraints of circumstance. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Forehand Frenzy for more exquisite content like this.